Sinking City. Last time we went and found the uh, creative whiskey from the and well, I mean, we did we found we found the courier not alive. <laughs> so let's go bring it back to bartender here. <sighs> well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. Oh, no, the boss. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, our newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Bye. Hey! Rendezvous point. An alley on windmill between Octopus and Skipper in Salva Southern Salvation Harbor. What does one do with a dog? The dog is rabid, so it must be unalived. Okay, so South Salvation Harbor on windmill oh right over there uh where are we right now we're right there so if we run straight down uh we can just come straight down here take skipper pop a boat and come up here at the same time it might be worth having a look down here Pick your poison. All right, let's get gone. Not that way. Ah, uh, so we're going to go straight down the road. Can't really call that much of a road, but you know, it is what it is. We'll take what we can get. Uh, how far? I would like to see what's over here. Ooh. Yes, please. We'll leave them to their own devices. Huh. Woo, dark and spoopy. Is that? Oh, it's a propeller. Wow. Oh, I don't necessarily think we want to come over here. Um, hello? Fine, we'll go around. Okay, well that sucks. I was hoping there was gonna be something a little more fun over here. Eh, you win some, you lose some, right? What was that?
Wow, you really gotta go all the way back. Dang. Well, at least it wasn't a complete waste. We got that loot crate. Not that it was anything too particularly crazy, but you know, better than nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Oh no, he's floating. Boop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're almost at the boat. Uh, and we're going straight across, right? Yeah, straight across, and then we're going to hang a left. Not back here, is it? Hey, fella. Oh. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. Okay, that was... All evidence collected? What? We didn't collect anything. What? I am so confused. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Just calm down. No need for violence. What are you gonna do now, bro? What are you gonna do now? Nothing, huh? That's what I thought. How are you doing, handsome? Who are you? And what the drug do you Whoa, want? Whoa, the cataracts Let's are real, man. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Heard you can help with uh, certain things. Mm. So you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing. Of course you do. But it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing, someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up... Car. Oh, interesting. So this, this is the point where we go like to uh, the crematorium. It was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home... 
Made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. Hey man, you want the job done or not? I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. Yeah, so I know I can until you find yourself going down a hill without brakes. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business, but he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. That's what you think, bro. Goodbye. Just calm down. No need I'd for violence. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. You sure about that, bro? When I get back, when I get back, <laughs> see how tough you really are, big guy. Okay, so let's. Okay, so we have choice after he regains power over his family he'll continue as he always was murder will just be the start rush with death could make him more compassionate make him see how precious life is um let's go second chance Um, <clears throat> okay, Brutus thinks that someone close to him planned to do away with him and then take his position. Doesn't remember much, but thinks that the diary from the safe in his room may help him discover who it was. Somehow, I need to get inside the manor without causing alarm. Carpenter's Manor is in Southern Old Grove on Goldbridge Road between Century and Hillside. A yellow tag that was on Brutus when he... Woke up in the crematorium. The name listed is Jack White. Really? Okay, so we are going to Old Grove. 
and that's the carpenter house right on gold bridge between century and hillside yeah so we don't we don't necessarily need a marker for that Let's see what we got around here though Don't mind if I do. Oh, what are we full up on? Coil springs. Can we make anything that has coil springs? A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthless yeah, scrap or two. Yeah, top marks for quantity. Just like the old days. So much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. <laughs> so what you're saying is, <laughs> these guys are a bunch of chumps. Oh, don't mind if I do. Nice. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one this leaves old man nowadays. Gone. The blood dried not too long ago. Oh, hello. Ooh, we got some 12 gauge shells. There's a lot of stuff around here. Dump this garbage. Papa Brood will be here any minute. Not gonna lie, did not even see that there. What even is that? Some sort of like locket or something? Okay, well, let's get out of here. So let's go to our nearest payphone, and we will zip over to uh, the 
zip over to the house. I feel like we're going to want to go in the back door. And I feel like this is going to be... I feel like we're probably going to have a uh, bit of a fight on our hands. You're the same character the model for the student at the university. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community, generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on, then. I could use some supplies. If you can spare them, that is. Here. Take some medicine. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, fetch a sack of potatoes from the basement of the Carpenter Manor. Um, is that... Yesterday, we're beating up newcomers. Today, we're hiring them. So what's going to happen tomorrow? I'd kill for a good fight. <laughs> I'm going to say I feel like these guys could potentially be pretty hostile. Well. Uh... There's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, I guess all the ashtrays, I guess, are just programmed to have little clouds billowing out of them. Not so fast, newcomer. You ain't going upstairs unless the boss calls for you. And I don't see that happening. Well, we'll see about that in a little bit, I guess. I'm doubtful there's anything down here, but you never know. Now down there, that's another story. Wow, lots of coil springs. So, where are the potatoes? So, where are the potatoes? Oh, hello.
Whoa, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with just camping behind the wall. That works for me. Got our sanity back. Oh, wow, he just warped down. Don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. Me, me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. Oh, look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. Um... You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion. Even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. <sighs> Don't worry. I... I get it. Look, uh... Hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you. Okay? Oh... Oh, thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. What do we have to go? I'm assuming we have to go back around and grab the empty bag in the basement. Oh. There's a, a minor issue. What? What, what issue? Oh, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, may I take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Oh, okay. That was, uh... I feel like that was a little too easy. Not so big now, are ya? Not so big now, are ya? That's what I thought, big boy. Don't let Papa Brute have the keys to the room. He's already lost them twice around the house. Door won't budge. Oh, okay. So I, I, are we going to have to go to the basement basement? Because there was another staircase leading down. December 1918, right after the guns stopped firing. Oh, 
Oh. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Interesting. Dear Graham, I was very glad to receive your last letter, and I appreciate that you're worried about me. I want to thank you once more for saving my life in battle. I'm sorry about what happened to your face. You could have just left me there dying, but you didn't. I'm forever in your debt, Jones. Yeah, you don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Love how we're just, like, rummaging through this guy's stuff and he's just standing there. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. Is... Is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. No offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. Mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it if you don't mind. Goodbye. Okay, Graham's motivated to change things. Graham's brave enough to go against the family's traditions. He wants to change things for better. you bringing me ah what was that I... that's so confusing. Oh! Oh, boy, I was not expecting that. <laughs> huh. Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Whoops. That's actually hilarious. This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle. Oh boy. Wasn't expecting to see that here.
Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. Brutus's diary. This is an unexpected turn of events. I'm on the verge of complete rejuvenation. Frankly, I didn't expect the flock of this age-old church still exist, let alone assist on my request. Perhaps this high priest merely feigns disgust at our family proclivities, or perhaps he finally understands why I must prolong my existence. Regardless, all that remains is to meet with him. The cost is irrelevant. Uh, for out of all of Oakmont, I alone deserve eternal life. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the city will meet a new young Brutus Carpenter. Oh, okay, guess we're done. Oh, I guess we could have went out the back and just jumped over the the uh, the fence like we did last time, but yeah, whatever. It's quick enough. Me again. You can relax. Everything's been taken care of. The sack is yours. Oh, bless you, sir. My little ones will eat today because of you. Look, I talked to Carpenter about your situation. He said to come by whenever you've a need. He'll do right by your family. Really? I, I didn't know Mr. Carpenter was so generous. That family sure has changed. Thank you again, friend. You said the Carpenters have changed. What were they like before? Uh, um... Hey, you can shoot straight with me. It's all right. We'll keep it between us. Worse. A lot worse. Criminals and murderers. Rumors are their boss, Brutus, defiled several women and got away scot-free. Oh, terrible. People call them a grand family. Their word is law in Oakmont, along with the... Well, I mean, judging right. by that picture, Tread carefully. I'm not really sure Brutus was into girls. <laughs> hey, listen. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Okay. What is it? Carpenter wanted me to give you this. Kay bless him and his generosity. Please, send him my thanks. I pray that Kay grants me one more... Okay, so... I presume... Hmm. So I guess now we go to the crematorium? Day. Uh, payphone is the other way. Conveniently located. Okay, so the crematorium is all the way over uh, here, I believe.
corner of Wayne Road and Phillips Street in Southern Reed Heights. Yeah, so that's over here. This is Reed Heights. At the corner of Wayne and Phillips. Yeah, so we're going to zip over here. And we're going to go... This away. Oh, I thought that was going to be the, the dock. Oh, tough times have come, I say. Cool story, bro, I say. Okay, so we just need to... Come through here and we are at the crematorium. That was convenient. very much. Oh, I couldn't care anymore. Well, you know what? You make a first aid kit. Um, do that. Wow, we're almost full up. And then we'll grab that. Last week, person on duty was James Warren. List of the deceased. Seven unidentified corpses cremated. Uh, okay, so we got one guy cremated. Two set, or three set to be cremated. And Jack White was urgent, but they didn't get to him. He escaped. Uh, this week, person on duty, Robert Taylor, Taylor, James Warden, on sick leave since last week. 16 unidentified, cremated, and M. Jane, cremated. Uh, note on the door. I locked up and left early today. The keys are on the table. P.S. This morning I heard wild beasts near the cemetery. Be careful. Whoever held this poker has got to be covered in slime. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. Nice. Ah, 
reeks to high heaven. What is... Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, it stinks. Oh, is that another one of those soap keys? Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, it stinks. Ugh, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? I wasn't expecting one of these down here. What by the angles is going on? Where... where am I? Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Oh, there's another one? Ah, another one for you. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Okay, so... Ah, another one for you. There's that. Burn him first chance you get. It's urgent. Then he woke up. What by the angles is going on? Knocked him where, out. Where am I? And then escaped. Uh, I need to get out of here before he comes round. Brutus yeah. was brought in by some group who had to deal with the crematorium worker. So Brutus woke up, knocked the guy out cold, and escaped. Okay, all evidence collected. So, what do we got here? We got the note. Oh, okay, so he's probably at the hospital. Yeah, so we gotta go over to the hospital. The most non-threatening, uneventful crematorium I've ever seen. Ever, anywhere. It's too bad you couldn't just pick a place on the map and go. Oh, what? Um... Yeah, so let's head down to the boat. And what's our best way? Straight. Uh, yes, we're going to go this way. And I think we're going to take a left and dock? Yeah.
Okay, so let's jump over to the hospital. Uh, where's the hospital? There's the hospital right there. Okay. And we will call it a day here for now. Um, so next time we will head over to the hospital and see if we can't find this uh, crematorium worker guy. I'm assuming we're going to have to look him up in the archive and then find out he was admitted there. Or something along those lines or I don't know. We'll figure it out though. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.